everyone, it's Pigsy, and welcome back to Mass Effect. Okay, so I think we can only take two people in our squad. So, we were with Caden and Ashley. Ashley has a lot of combat strength. But I don't know what kind of strengths we're gonna need. Like, I think we'll need combat strength since we're going to the bar. But I kinda wanna have the other two just in case. What's the difference between basic strength and combat strength? I kind of want to take Rex though, because he's new. Then he has basic and tech strength, so we'll have that just in case. Okay, there we go. So we got our new squad. Ashley can go see the sights and run around the Citadel for a while. So now I kind of want to go to the bar first, since that's like where most of the stuff we're trying to get done is happening. Because we need to go talk to that guy. We need to... what was the other thing? You've got impressive biotic power. Humans should never have switched to the weaker L3 implants. My headaches can be pretty bad, and I'm one of the lucky L2 implants. The L3s are safer. You don't stop using a gun just because the kickback has a little sting. Is that what they're talking about? Guns? I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know what L2 and L3s are. Uh I know I have three guns. I know how to count. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like I know that sounds stupid listening to it, but that's honestly how I feel. It's kinda stupid. Cause this whole universe is so big, it's so much bigger than I expected. And like I've said before. Wait. No, we want to go, we want to go this way. Yeah, yeah, okay, sorry. I had to picture it in my head. Uh, but like I said, this universe is so much bigger than I expected it to be, and I kind of feel like a newborn baby. Like, I feel like a newborn baby in this big world of Mass Effect, because like the second I'm done processing something, there's already new information coming at me, like a new character, or a new storyline, or someone else that needs help. So it's a lot to keep track of. Uh, and like I said, a lot of people have played this game, so a lot of people already know everything about the universe, everything about like all the characters, all the DLC, all the other two games, all the other two games. Uh, so it's a lot to take in. So I'm like trying to find the right pace right now where it's like I understand everything that's going on and I'm doing everything to the best of my ability, but I'm still keeping a good pace to make sure the story keeps going. What's going on? It's against Citadel regulations. You're the one yelling, this dude. One Calm down. Why the other would not wish word of the Enkindlers to be spread. Is it these two? Who's talking? Okay, well, I guess they figured it out. I guess they solved it, because they're not fighting anymore. <laughs> I was gonna get involved, but then again, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't. So I thought I was on the right path, but... No, because that's the Academy. We just came from there. There it is. Okay, yeah, I was going the right way. Cool. <laughs> For once, I'm going in the right way. Yay! I'm slowly learning the ship. I'm happy. Then, like, I spent five minutes looking at the map in between episodes, so... I was hoping that would help. Maybe some part of my subconscious would, like, soak it all in. And I guess so, because we actually headed the right way. Um, and now I can't remember what I was talking about before. Basically, I think the point I was trying to make... <laughs> was that like, this game is very, very new, and I like the fact that it's like, it's so immersive and there's so much behind it. Uh, but at the same time, for those of you who have, oh, geez. Uh, for those of you who have like played the game and know everything that's going on, hopefully this is entertaining for you to watch. I'm sorry if I'm being annoying, but just be patient with me, I guess. Cause I really do like this game. It's a lot of fun and I do want to keep playing it. And like, granted, that's not something I would expect myself to say about a space game, but it kind of reminds me more of like a... A Solarian oh. excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. That was what that one guy was talking about right before the CSEC investigator came over and yelled at him. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have any opinion on the matter, considering the fact I'm not exactly an expert in 
interstellar alien relationships and politics, so, you know. Rather not say something and get my foot stuck in my mouth. Oh, gosh, dang it. No. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so the bar has to be down here. I don't know what upsets me more. The fact that I keep doing that or the fact that, like, when I pull out my gun, no one seems to care. It doesn't affect anyone. Okay. So is this, like, where we come for information? There are a few unlicensed vendors who operate out of the markets here. Sometimes they have good stuff for sale. Good to know, in case we need to buy anything. And I have to admit, I like the voice they gave Rex. Like, I don't know. Part of me, like, is interested in Rex's character, because I'm kind of hoping he's going to turn around and be, like, the big softie of the group. Because I always love that when it's, like, the big strong guy, and it turns out that he's just a big softie who wants to be friends with everyone. I don't know. Which, I shouldn't stereotype like that, but I mean, eh, I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> I feel my foot heading towards my mouth, so I'm gonna shut up. Where's the bar? Which, which way for the bar? I don't know. I'm guessing it's this way. Oh, don't mess with him. I remember that much. Do not mess with those guys. So why is it sometimes I can talk to them in the elevators and sometimes I can't? Because it won't let Binary me talk. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Ha ha ha, that's so funny. It's a joke on sterilization. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I wasn't completely paying attention. I was kind of distracted by this dope elevator music. Yeah, this is a soundtrack I could get behind. <laughs> okay. So what's over here? Not really my kind of place. Kaden. But there sure are some spectacular views here. You asshole. Don't block the doors. Don't body block me with the doors, dang it. Whoa. That's kind of pretty. Commander Shepard? Excuse me, Commander Shepard! Yes? What's up? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Yeah, sure. Why not? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. You don't have to do that, but yeah, why would- why me? You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on a coups when everyone else in your squad got killed. Is everyone gonna if bring that up? anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. I'll see what I can do. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Like, I really want to help everyone. To the best of my ability. But at the same time, I also want to progress the game, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to help everyone, but I'll try to help as many people as I can. So where's the bar? Uh... Oh, there's something going on at the med clinic that'll further the plot. Yeah, let's go to the med clinic. Oh, thank goodness for this map. I would be one lost puppy without it. So is it down here, I'm guessing? Excuse me, sir, can you tell me where the med clinic is? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Well, since you asked. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. What do you know about Spectres? 
Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? I guess he hasn't heard everything that's been going on with Saren. Uh, Citadel? How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. <laughs> I don't think Shepard's much of a club goer, but thanks for the suggestion. I think we're probably gonna go. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. I like him. He's nice. Very respectful. So are we still heading the right way? I think so. Let's see what's over here. Uh, can we go? Is there a control panel somewhere? Oh, it's over there. First time I was here, I dropped a bundle in the casino. <laughs> Got so mad I put my fist through one of the machines. You know, for some reason that does not surprise me. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the deferred education plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Where'd it go? Oh, gosh dang it. I thought I was going the right way. No, I started off so well, I was going the right direction, and I still ended up lost somehow. So where are we now? Welcome to CSEC. Wait, what? Wait, we've been here before, right? This looks familiar. No, this is where we met Rex. What? How do we get back to the academy? Uh. Uh. Let me just skip to the part where we're at the clinic. This looks familiar. Ah! I just had to go straight. I didn't have to go down the stairs at all. As per the freaking norm, though, I found the most convoluted way to get lost. But we're here. We found it. Hooray. Let's see what's going on. Finally. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or... Who are you?! Let her go. Ah! This game escalates so quickly. <laughs> now we're killing people again, okay. Now it gets fun! Uh, no, actually, it doesn't. Actually, it gets to the menu, because I need to leave this episode here. I don't want this to run over. But in the next episode, we'll have some fun and shoot at some people. Yay! <laughs> so I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!